Amazon always has wonderful sales. You can go check that out. All of these lipsticks are my favorites, are classics, are uh, lipsticks that I wanted to bring them from the stash uh, because I don't want them to be forgotten because these colors really work well. The formulas still really hold true irrespective of so many other new launches. So it deserves this love. It deserves this limelight. And that is what this video is about. Aparna's Fab 5 Brown Lipsticks. How many of you love a classic brown lipstick? Please do comment. Say, I'm a brown fan if you are. So these lipsticks are all in the affordable range. They are comfortable on the lips and um, I think they are all working across skin tones. So just hang on, I'm going to take you through them. This is a beautiful shade from the brand Faces Canada. It's their Ultim Pro HD Crayon Lipstick. I have loved this formula. Of course, I've featured it in so many times on my channel, but I have featured all the shades as well. Do check that out. And you know what? Any video you want to check out uh, on the channel, you can just go to YouTube, just type Joy Geek Faces Canada or Joy Geeks Maybe, and you'll get all the videos so that you're not hunting within my channel. This is a shade called Expresso 03, and I like that this is um, not a dark brown, not a very muted brown. It's a nice brown that suits my skin tone. I'm an NC42 in MAC. So I love this shade. I love this formula. It stays a pretty decent time. Um, I don't think it's transfer proof. Yeah, it's not transfer proof. But anyway, this is not a review video. This is just my love for the shade. This is a shade from Sugar's Matter Cell Crayon Lipstick. It's called Murphy Brown. It's quite cherry-like. I'll just wear this and show you. Now, this is a very, very different kind of a brown. It is not your uh, chocolate kind of brown. Um, you can say it's vinish, it's cherry-like, but it's a brown. Um, I really like this shade. It's very bold, it's very nice. It's not uh, heavy on the red side, it is heavy on the brown side. So, I quite like this. Uh, this will suit across skin tones for sure. Darker skin girls will really look nice in this. It could even be a nude shade for them actually. And for uh, the fairer skin girls, this is definitely going to stand out as very bright. So you can check that out. And this formula, of course, we love uh, the Matters Hell Crayon. Um, Sugar Cosmetics has one of the hits in this crayon. So I definitely wanted to feature this in this video. One could say this is a vampish shade, but for somebody like me, this would be just a normal uh, everyday shade. It depends where you are in your lipstick journey, actually. If you're somebody who's just started wearing lipstick, if you prefer nudes, this will be like a night lipstick for you. If you're somebody like me, uh, for who uh, lipstick is an emotion, who really loves lipstick and uh, I love bright, bold colors as well. Uh, this is just a daytime. Such a beautiful nude caramelly brown shade. Oh my God, I really like this. This is a shade from Lacme Absolute. Uh, range. This is called Morning Coffee and I'll show you what this looks like on the lip. It's such a beautiful shade. I love this formula as well. Very easy to glide. I have mentioned this in the past. Surprisingly, I have not made a video just dedicated to this Lacme Absolute lipstick. I have a few shades. I love this. This is a nude. I'm sure I featured this lipstick though. It's an everyday shade, the, uh, the fair girls will totally love it because it'll be such a beautiful nude. Even for medium to tan, I think it's a decent uh, nude. I love it. Yeah, just that the smell of this is 
a wee bit off but it, it, I can't like smell it all the time only when I'm applying it it's a little strange other than that I love the shade you can see so I have featured three so far which is very different this is a proper chocolate brown the first one espresso from faces this is a cherry uh, tinted brown and I showed a slightly pink tinted new muted brown and the next two that I'm going to show you let me just show it to you. Before I continue, if you have not subscribed, just take a second. It doesn't cost you anything. I asked you folks in the last video, if you've not subscribed so far, but you've been, you know, you've been watching all my videos, please subscribe. First of all, pause, check if you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, and also let me know in comments that, you know, you just subscribed. Because it happens sometimes. You watch our favorite channels. I'm assuming this is a favorite channel of yours. I would love to know. Um, so let me know it's always nice to receive your feedback and encouragement and I'm always open to constructive co constructive and I'm always open to constructive criticism as well so bring that on this is another lipstick from Shambor surprisingly I have featured very less of Shambor let me wear this first This is a shade from Shambor's Extreme Wear Transfer Proof Liquid Lipstick in the shade 482. And to be very honest, I'm really surprised how I have not featured enough of Shambor on my channel. Because during my college days, I have worn so much of Shambor. I used to love it. I used to love the quality and the nudes and I used to wear a lot of browns. I used to just love it from Shambor. I haven't given Shambor enough love on my channel. If you would like me to feature more of Shambor stuff, please do type in the comments and let me know. I'll just type Shambor more or something so I'll know. This is such a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful nude. Will work for lighter to medium to pretty dark girls as well. Very dark. Uh, this may be not visible probably. But uh, I love this formula. This is a transfer proof lipstick. And um, yeah, Shambor has my love. I love that brand. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's surprising that I haven't featured enough of it on my channel. This is fully matte on the lip. It will be transfer proof. It will last a decent time. It's very comfortable on the lip. It is uh, decently priced and uh, there will also be sale and very easily available as well. Nice. I like the packaging because you can see the color. You know quickly what you're putting on. Can you like pause uh, this video? As soon as I give you a hint and share your honest, uh, you know, answer in the comments. The next lipstick is going to be a very muted brown in a very famous formula that lasts a long time. Comment, a pause and comment and don't cheat. Don't look at others comments. Just uh, I love doing these quizzes. So just uh, do that and uh, let me see who gets this right. I'm not kidding. If you have not paused and just taken a guess of which the next transfer proof liquid lipstick is which lasts a really long time in a very muted brown shade if you are lovers of liquid lipsticks you will know this shade just comment i trust you and i'm i'm going to now show this shade the shade is from maybelline's matte ink and the shade is amazonian this is the liquid lipstick that i had to feature it's in the uh, number 70 many folks feel that it may not suit them but I have really loved it. It's a very light um, brown color, very muted, very natural color. So you see, you have a range of browns in this video. I'm very happy with my picks. It was really tough for me, but I'm very happy with the Fab Fives of uh, uh, brown lipsticks. You see Maybelline even came out with uh, coffee shades, the four shades that they had but I really wanted to go back, dig into the classic shades of brown that I used to really love back in the days. So this had definitely to get featured in this video and um, tell me if you like the shade too. This is a, a formula that most of you have loved because this stays a long time. Some of you feel it's a bit sticky. I think it's also about the way you apply it. Because yes, it's a wee bit tacky, but nothing that you can't manage. 
if you don't overdo the lipstick if you saw how i applied and uh, you know uh, just take very little of the wand and apply it this will really work for you especially in this mask zone so uh, this uh, is a lipstick that i have really loved so these were all my fabulous brown classic lipsticks i want you to comment with which is your all time favorite trust me these were not my all time favorites but these are my fab fives and i think i'll have to do this a little more repetitively because uh it's very difficult to just pick five of my entire lot but a lot of you did request me to just give you those five shades and i want to also give you uh, stuff which would be affordable which will be uh you know easily available in a lot of discounted uh, price so these were my lipsticks which i have loved and i hope you like them too i will see you in the next video always please let me know what you'd like to watch all right take care